Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. The words that you speak can turn lives around. The words that you speak can turn situations around. The words that you speak can turn destinies around. Lift your voice and acknowledge Him. The God who owns that voice that can turn things around. Seke parataka parati seberedia. Go ahead and speak in other tongues. Bless you. Seke baros habaria habaros habaria. The words that you speak can turn things around. The words that you speak can turn barrenness around. The words that you speak can turn infirmities around. Are you blessing him? Go ahead. All those following us online, bless him. Scattered around this nation and the nations of the world, bless him. I just want you to sing that part of the song that says the words you speak can turn things around. The word you speak turns things around. Go out, Father, tonight is my night of testimony. Lift your voice and pray. Tonight must be my night of testimony. I place a demand on your grace. I place a demand on your wisdom. I place a demand on your ability. Are you praying? Tonight must be my night of dramatic testimony. The words that you speak can turn things around. I trust you. Uh, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to walk up to two or three people and tell them your life is about to change dramatically. Prophesy. Outside, make sure you participate. Those online, participate. Your life is about to change dramatically. Say it like you're not joking. Your life is about to change dramatically. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. Amen. Welcome to our miracle service. This is miracle service for September. And prophetically and very strangely, we're doing it in October. When God begins to move like this, it's important that our spirits are open to discern what it is that he's saying. There are no mistakes with him. It is only when our perceptions are not clear enough to receive. It may look like a coincidence, but in every working of God, there is wisdom. Hallelujah. So I welcome every one of us, those inside, outside. Thank you so much for coming. Those who have come from far, you will never be disappointed. And all those following us online, on all our media platforms, we welcome you. You are part of us. Let your heart be open in the name of Jesus. Pay attention to the word. Oftentimes when people come, um, they just want to begin to see manifestation, prophecy, and so on and so forth. But every time you come before god it's important that you listen to the word the bible says they came to jesus to hear and be healed to hear and be healed it's only a herbalist who constructs charms and doesn't care whether or not you are participating in the process at the end of it he hands you a leaf with substances and says go it is done but with god there must be participation i want to charge us very briefly before we begin to pray there's a lot that god will do tonight and um i want us to conserve time i'm seeing how that we can finish on time in fact much more than we have we have been doing in the miracle services and i ask god for grace and so his grace is sufficient for us tonight amen i trust god for a very quick walk and please let's cooperate with what he wants to do so that we can live here on time praise god i want to speak um very briefly to encourage our hearts and to remind us on the integrity of god's word the integrity the dependability the reliability of god's word when it comes to exploits in the kingdom please listen the principal channel listen to me please the principal channel for receiving the miraculous is faith the principal channel for participating in the miraculous is faith are we together now and your faith is inactive until the word of god brings it alive and so I want you to please pay attention. There are so many believers who expect God to step in and bring healing, miracles. I was so touched whilst the testimonies were being shared. And, um, but they're not surprised, only grateful. I would be surprised if I were the doer. Are we together? The integrity of God's word. The Bible has this to say. It says heaven and earth, listen, shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. You know why they will pass away? Because the word created them both. Are we together? Heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of the Lord abides forever. The principal channel for committing God to perform in your life is the word of God. Please listen. The principal channel for committing God is not your tears. Your tears move God, but they cannot commit him. Your lamentation can move God. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity. But being touched is not the same as responding to it. The only channel 
that can commit God's integrity to bring him to the scene to perform on your behalf is the word of God. I need you to understand this. Not a man of God. He may only be a vehicle. But the principal channel for committing God is the word of God. Whenever we talk about faith, it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of God expression. And I'll just charge us a little. It's important for us to know that the word of God can be trusted. The scripture that we read, this Bible, look up please. This Bible that we read, the Bible says it was inspired of the Holy Ghost. Are we together? Holy men wrote it as they were moved by the Spirit. So regardless of the imperfection of the translators, regardless of the imperfection of the writers, the sovereignty of God still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results. When believed and acted upon, are we together? Your faith. Every time in scripture, Jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients. Jesus never told anyone, you have asked a hard thing. It was Elijah who told his son in the gospel, you have asked a hard thing. It is possible. But Jesus will only ask them, believest thou, thy faith has given this to you. Let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that I got from Bishop Oedipo. Uh, this, this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful. This is what he said. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get your desired result. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a path to your miracle listen please that depends on god that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a path to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from god listen please we come to god but we approach god as though approaching an idol hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week i'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we're gathered here tonight we're not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error i know you will be blessed I know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this i know your life will change i know that demon will leave your life forever i know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication are we together the title is an implication the title means you were certified 
the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting is an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and sat within himself if he had the power to back up that name god never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said if he called it a miracle service then that is a miracle service indeed it has never been about the inability of god to step into people's lives please listen there is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of God to step in. No, you would be lying. Are we together? You know, sometimes the mountains that stand before us, and trust me, I'm human. There are mountains that can stand before people. But you see, that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust God makes it look. There are mountains. It says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms. Not cities, kingdoms. So the foundation, the foundation, please listen. The foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of God. You must find out what he has said about the issue of concern. That is step one to commit him. More on that during the faith series. But it is important. You have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out. Because God limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford. Hear me. Whatever the word of God can afford, God can provide it. Did you hear me? Whatever the word of God can afford, God can pay for it. Hmm. Whatever the word of God can afford, it is within the sovereign power of God to pay for it. Your first assignment is to find out. I've been barren for eight years. They said I have no fallopian tube. Thank you doctors, but they are practicing. And you come to the word of God and check and then the Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit he says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalist get to the word get to the word father this is your word i commit you prophet isaiah in chapter 38 moved by the holy ghost went to hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness isaiah was a major prophet 
when a major man of God with a track record speaks to you it's almost like a done deal but a man used the word of God to change prophecy Art. the words you speak turn things help me that the word of God can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but i change it yes they said everybody in my family is ss but i found a provision there is a bailout mystery i can't die as i can't die ss it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me i have worked with god enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man hezekiah turned his face and said oh god remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you no know, paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as i hear you say many believers want things to happen let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying you've got to find it and sit down until the word of god superimposes your doubt i know there is a rent of five hundred thousand to pay the rent is not in the spirit the landlord is alive i know i know statistics says that there are no jobs in nigeria i know there is recession in nigeria but when you find it in the world now listen when you find it in the world and meditate let me tell you what meditation does here's how you know you are finished meditating you are finished meditating the moment you discover your role when you discover the part you have to play you have finished your meditation you meditate until you find a good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life not will you give me what is my part good master what is my part lord what is my part to be healed oh god will you heal me that's wrong prayer that's immature spiritual communication what is my role it is within your power good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life and jesus didn't say no 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 eternal life is cheap no as cheap as salvation is there is still a role you have to play are we together he says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith which we preach right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 he says and believe with thy heart that god raised him from the dead he said thou shalt be saved for with the heart it says man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation not just new birth unto health unto everything hallelujah your meditation has not finished if you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal there must be your commitment Oh Lord, what is the secret to end circles of failure? It's like as soon as I'm recovering from one, I'm finding another. And then you search in God's word. Who suffered by me? What is the key? Lord, nothing is working in my life. No job, no marriage, no money, no peace. What should I do? Oh, there are enemies in my life. How do I deal with them? I've prayed. And then the Holy Ghost takes you to Psalms 149. Let the high praise of God be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron. 
to execute upon them the judgment that is written it says this honor has all the saints ah so my praise is a weapon of warfare this is my own part you shut your door and you begin to praise god like a madman and when you praise god like a madman all of a sudden you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act let me tell you god is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete praise the lord so what is your part tonight number one your part is to believe god your part is to believe god don't allow science medicine the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say okay now let's be real i know that i have a fibroid i touched it and i felt it is it really going to disappear and you now begin to think the question you have to think is how did it come were you born with it did you swallow it and it went there so how did it come you never question how it grew to be that big but now you are questioning how it to be shrink how it to shrink and disappear we have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief you mean i can complete that house by the end of the year haba this is october we've not even gotten to lintel level the last person who would have blessed me just said guy nigeria is hot hot for who don't don't generalize this thing let's be sincere enough persuasion i believe god oh. i believe god that's why we're ministering listen when you find what god has said commit him throw away your ego throw away your fears and commit god the bible says listen listen to what it says it says in my name they shall cast out devils that's what we are going to do shortly he said it we believe it and so we have the effrontery to gather you and to release a platform for the world to listen and we give them an assurance based on what based on his integrity that's why we have a worship team what's the assignment to create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest because when his presence is here then we know that we have committed him brothers and sisters i want you to come to a point of restful assurance throw away that doubt you know some of you hear what i'm saying and most people when they hear preachers talking like this they look at their dressing they look at everything and say it's not your fault it's because you are enjoying as if the person was born like that apostle is because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here believe me i don't care what it is if god cannot solve your problem then we have found a reason for him to not be god but i believe god previous miracle services it did not happen another word for faith is persistence another word for faith is persistence you will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah god i called down fire once what is this one is it that i'm backsliding he didn't even have time to ask that question restful assurance he went back to pray seven times and he saw the cloud like the feast of a man and he told ahab he said saddle your ass and run i hear the sound of the abundance of rain There are people here tonight trusting God for miracles in your body. There are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation. You are welcome. Who else will you run to? Let me just say something. When I was, when I was meditating and preparing this little exhortation, the Lord said the following things to me and I just want us to write it down. Just three of them quickly. Number one, your action commits my integrity your action 
not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding You can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, uh -uh. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no Assuming there's somebody you brought here, for instance, who was who is deaf, maybe on one ear or both ears, and now it's time to pray. And as we are praying, and you are just standing, you are watching the person. Oh, in the name of Jesus, if there's any deaf person here, be healed. And you look at him, and you're wondering, ah, this guy. Let me concentrate on myself. That guy will never be healed. He's going to go out like that, because number one, you are embarrassed. To take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they are about to pray i'll check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed Go and check yourself and you are wondering. You are sitting down there and wasting your time. And then you run later after service. And you come and say, Jimmy, sorry, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking. Because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please, get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went, as they went. The woman said to herself with the issue of blood, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself, she would have gone back home with her issue of blood. But then after speaking, she still pressed. At the point she did it, there was a miracle. number two this is the second thing god told me and i don't want to believe this applies to koinonia let me be wrong at least but i don't want to believe this applies to koinonia but i believe this applies to other people this is what god told me stop mixing god and any other god like traditional gods native doctors that's why I say I don't believe this applies to Koinonia. But I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday, you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday, you now quickly run to your village. And they tell you there's somebody. The guy is not exactly a herbalist. He's not exactly a pastor. He just has this gift. You cannot mix. Let me tell you something God has said. Give us Psalm 16. Psalm 16. 
verse 4. Give us verse 4. Psalm 16 verse 4. I want you to read the A part. One to read. Their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. That's what I was looking for. What will happen to them? Their sorrow. It will look, let me tell you. Please hear me. I've never gone to a herbalist. But I've ministered to plenty people who have gone to them. You will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist. But it's my father that said we should go as a family. Well, I know that there is a limit to which you can control that. But I'm telling you, you can insist and refuse. The Bible says there are sorrows. I know what I'm saying. In Africa, many people will say, oh, these people, they are just young people. They don't know what they are saying. The Bible says there are sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god so you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep i don't care whether they ask you to read some one or read some hundred for as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up do something demonic the man is telling you go and buy a goat are we together you buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood, and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but you know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run! That's how it is. You go there, the before any discussion you are dropping consultancy fee you know i've told you here koinonia hear me money and miracles don't go hand in hand bring money let me pray for you you can sow a seed expecting a miracle you can be challenged to commit yourself but where somebody says the price for this pregnancy is 25,000 and I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money. What did he tell him? He said, your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of God. It's not for sale, it's priceless. So stop mixing God and witch doctors. You cannot mix God and witch doctor. Are we together? If you depend on God, depend on him. If you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her. Razor. Like sharp razor. You bring out gillette. Razor. And now open your mouth. Throw it in. She was scared to death. But I tell you, she broke that thing, finished it and swallowed it. No sign of blood. They are mediums. Right? They are mediums. I can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day. Now, the challenge with this kind of people is they just come and say, ah, now, I will never be involved in those kind of things again. Lord, my hands are washed. They think that's all to it. They think they are free. So, somebody says, I want to get married to you. Two weeks, he says, I don't know what is wrong, but... The day I said I'll get married to you, somebody warned me and said, if I catch you near my wife again. So the person gets up and says, I don't want trouble. And before you know it, the lady is 40, 41, 
no marriage she loves God she's serious are we together now but she believes that everything is or no it's not just like that too. that's why God puts meetings like this to set people free I don't know what your challenge is tonight but I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place tonight will be a night the Lord spoke to me and I said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance there are there are people honestly who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people I learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirits they may manifest as different things but I give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them you are not just being hated for nothing you are only one out of seven billion people what makes people hate you everywhere you go they hate you there is a spirit it says for as a body without a spirit is dead there must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem and tonight in the name of Jesus Christ whatever will not let you go must leave you there are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor hear me as I'm speaking to you do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious there are well-meaning people but these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go because it does not take discussion it takes the power of God to put them where they belong are we together there are some of us who have never experienced the favor of God you have had it in the lives of people you have clapped for other people but you've not seen it in your life if your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you you think you are finished because in your mind every time you are praying and say God visit me what you mean is please oh God help Ejimi to be the one to visit me but when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way you'll be surprised here people saying three jobs three jobs waiting for someone at this time now the question I want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge but do you believe do you believe that God can give you a testimony that's my first question no 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 don't answer me do you believe please don't 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 just assume you know what I'm saying I'm speaking from my heart you are seated outside you are seated in the overflow you are following online maybe in another nation or in another place do you believe that God can step in that's number one number two do you believe that God can step in now it's one thing to believe God will step in but do you believe God can step in now or are you saying oh God my eyes cannot see well but even if it's one that starts seeing, I'm grateful. You see, it looks like it's faith, but it's not faith. It's just an advanced form of unbelief. Lord, I hold on to you. I don't know what you will do with me tonight, but I believe you. And every instruction that comes, I believe. Are we together? When prayers, when we're about to pray, and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling or you are waiting for yourself to fall no your heart is open you are praying time to release your prayer request you don't just tell the ushers let me drop my own and you drop it as if it's no you are dropping it and waving it goodbye and saying I dropped it because you will never return to me listen there is an attitude the miracle is in the attitude not just in the act the attitude lord as i drop this request i wave you goodbye i cannot drop it and write it again next year next 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 month are we together you are coming here trusting god for an impartation and an anointing you don't sit down carelessly you are listening carefully as the word of god is coming your spirit is open and that you believe that by the time the grace is shared i'm walking out of here a different person are we together you came here sick 
oh god this sickness i've been praying about it but today let me tell you do you know you can decide the day of your miracle mm -hmm. the woman with the issue of blood said today jacob held on to the angel right and said i won't let you go he would have let him go and say okay the next time you come just inform me you can make it today when i was praying for this meeting i said god i have one request please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony that was my prayer for you i've done my own part and the grace the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of god is available the mercy of god is here to help you your part is to believe god enough and respond in faith are we together every part of the meeting god is going to do a quick work right now but i want you to believe please be tired of where you are oh god from january till now i've not moved forward i have to be sincere with myself give me an encounter that by now between now and october miracle service let me return with tears of joy in my eyes there are two kinds of tears a man can cry tears of sorrow and tears of joy it says you have turned my morning into dancing everything i'm telling you to do is what i'm doing myself don't think i just came here empty-handed i came here with my heart full of expectation i mentioned my own request before god and cried my heart to him so I, i'm only a vessel but i'm also a benefactor because by and large i will still listen to this message and i will receive every prophetic word the trouble with us is you may think i'm a worker oh i'm, I'm protocol i'm media i am a minister i am this and not receive you see how the leaders in this house whenever they are here they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open that's that's the attitude are we together don't sit down arguing and say madam how are you how do you feel that's not your business focus on what god is doing and insist the devil in these kinds of meetings hear me satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word they are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is because you see when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited, but your heart is already here, cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, they are nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears and give you a testimony? And how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith? Please jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Whether you are inside, outside, I place a demand. Online, I place a demand. On your integrity, I place a demand. On your favor, I place a demand. On your wisdom, I place a demand. Are you praying? Sheke pakata barata katali bata. Shem proto sopari kata. Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry, but I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. 
Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problem. I'm tired of using crutches. I'm tired of poverty. Living from hand to mouth. I'm tired of failure. Tired of defeat. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. I want you to take two minutes. You are going to cry for your family. And say Lord as I stand here I represent an altar. It's not just me alone. The angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven. Step into my family. Step into my family. End that cause. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it all, God. Nobody is gainfully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak. point listen listen the last prayer point he said give us this day this day not tomorrow lord give me this day breakthrough give me this day promotion mention everything you want and say lord today my faith is for today if your faith says yes god will not say no if your faith says yes God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day direction for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute. That any spirit behind your seat. Leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention. Leave the headache. Leave what? 
uh, that the spirit behind it i like you to pray and declare that as god's prophetic word comes from here that spirit is under arrest is on fire and it must leave hey. lift your voice and pray leave the case challenge the spirit behind it Leave the case. Leave the case. the spirit behind failure. The spirit behind delay. Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. I tell you, I'm angry, my spirit. Rise up, everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kapari kete basala bakaria da badada. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me, while I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Shebarete seda da da bakata, lekete prekete bash, dakarete tesh, dakarete tesh, dakarete tesh, shabarete ba. Inside, outside, lekete prekete bash. The word of God is upon this prayer. Rete kete 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 lekete prapata shabarete ba la ba. Barakata praskata barata. Break it, take a They are tongues of fire. They are tongues of fire. In those people, they can touch the magic. They go to second, they take it. They Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every covenant, every altar standing on your way 
to the next level in the name of Jesus right now I command them to leave you 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 now every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny leave them now in the name of Jesus lift your hands at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus I'm seeing a sword in the spirit and on that sword I see something like a chain and on the chain is written stagnation in the name of Jesus lift your hands you may not even know this affects you at the count of three as you shout Jesus many of you will be surprised what will happen to you inside outside online let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout Jesus I command it to leave are you ready now one two three I command stagnation go now go now go now go now, go now. stagnation by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost stagnation leaves your destiny stagnation leaves your life stagnation Hallelujah. I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward. I don't know who you are, but every time you want to make progress, you have dreams, and in those dreams, you see things holding you. Sometimes you see chain. The Lord is asking me to release you wherever you are. Right now, I stretch my hands, I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. Hallelujah. We are still praying. They must let you go. Parato Soto Barikete. Ladies, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray for you from my heart. Something is about to leave you now. Sisters, lift your hands. Every covenant that anyone is under here, please hear me, knowingly or unknowingly, that has tied any lady's destiny right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two three shout jesus be free be free be free be free, be free. Be free. inside and outside i break it i break it i break it I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I saw something fly above. And the Lord said, it's the spirit of death. The plague of death. There are families here. Every year, someone must die every acrobatic teleper every year somebody must die there are families here every season somebody must be sick i want to end cycles 
death does not just mean cessation from living cycles of repetition lift your hands everybody this one will affect a lot of people please open your heart hear me many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families cycles of repetition lift your hands the ministry of angels at the count of three with all your heart i want you to shout jesus and watch what happens to you some of you as you shout jesus you will have an open vision literally and you will see things that have happened in your family and god will bring you a word of deliverance are you ready now at the count of three father back up your word one two three spirit of death i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you circles of death circles of death i arrest you hallelujah lift your voice and begin to pray cancel everything challenge every spirit 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 challenge every challenge every spirit Hallelujah. 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 We are going to be fast. But I'm going to walk around. There is a reason why I walk around. Listen. You don't have to touch me. But let me tell you. As surely as the God of heaven is in this place. When I come close to you. If there is any spirit that is holding your destiny. It must leave you. Believe me. Believe me. There is an anointing. You don't have to make the place rowdy. I'm going to walk through this road. I will come back here and I will go outside. Let's see how much you can do that very fast. Please, let your heart be open. You don't have to touch me. I'm telling you that any spirit, any spirit, I stretch my hands here. Any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, 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 go, 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 go. Right now, right now, right now, let them go. Every spirit, every spirit. Those of you out from here, as I walk through the crowd, get any spirit. Any spirit, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to walk across you. When there is any spirit, let's go. Under fire right now. 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 Every spirit. 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 Right now, you must go. You must go. You must go. You must go. You must go right now. Right now. Every spirit. I doubt anyone to rest in the You must go. Every 
of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? Came here, the spirit of the Lord told me to pray for the person. Please, who is that person? Let's pray. And then the sec don't don't come here, please, if you are not the person. The second person I want to pray for. There is someone here. You've been having severe abdominal pain. Right here. Right here. You are a lady. This pain has been too much. Right here. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you right now. You're the okay. Stand here. I want to pray for you right now. You came for a miracle service. Lift your hands. I use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here. Anyone here with any strange pain. Ah, look at. I look at this lady and I see a spirit. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that pain to leave right now. Go. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone. I don't know what it is about this role. But there is someone. 
your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses this is financial losses for a while i don't need to bring you god is going to bring you out right now lord whoever that person is right now that's the person i'm talking about a miracle comes for you a miracle comes for you i'm seeing a lady here looks like a small girl you see spirits in the night this is like witches this is what i'm seeing the lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now right now right now who is by the name john there's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name john 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 who is john please are you john your name is john ah there's another john you are wearing nigerian shirt john you are wearing nigerian shirt is there someone like that? do i know you stand here i need to pray for you because i'm seeing something on your head like madness can we have this okay thank you those outside listen in the realm of the spirit whether you are inside or outside believe me when i tell you this it makes no difference the only thing we have to lose you can see i'm talking outside but I'm still touching people inside that's the same i can be inside touching you don't don't think because you are standing far you have a disadvantage of sound but that's the only disadvantage it's not a disadvantage to your spirit are we together look at me where are you coming from Quara State. State for this meeting. No, I'm a student in ABU. Oh, you are a student in ABU. I'm, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing somebody reading, and all of a sudden he starts talking like a madman, just from academics. And this thing I'm seeing is witchcraft. I hear what I'm saying. I, don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here, but in the name of the God of heaven, please hear me. Because while you are studying, somebody else is hoping you don't pass. But I lay my hands on this gentleman. I use him as a point of contact to anyone here. Whoever has planned anything against you, it returns back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of you in this overflow, this very one, please lift your hand. Sorry again about the sound, but I want you, don't mind, just lift your hands. The Lord is telling me, in seven days please hear me there are five people here in this room in seven days god is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough listen i will not touch you the power of god will locate them right now one that's one five of them in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ you don't have to bring them out seven days I stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice and I declare miracles, 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 miracles. Bring this little girl for me. Bring this little girl for me. Come, sweetheart. Let her not fall here. Hug me. Come. The Lord is saying, I don't know what family this girl comes from. But the Lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. I'm seeing a final year student here. You've written your exams. You thought you've graduated. But I'm looking now and I'm seeing two courses and the Lord is saying we should change it. I don't know who that person is here at this point. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, and I prophesy as the Lord has spoken to me. We change it now. We change it now. Help them. We change it now. I want you to believe everything God is doing here. Believe everything God is doing. I'm looking at a family of seven people, no marriage, and God is saying, Arrest that spirit. I'm seeing another family of four ladies, no marriage. I don't care who. Wait, you don't have to come. Father, I pray. I'm standing here. It doesn't matter where I stand. I'm speaking to everybody. Right now, in the next one minute, 
all those whose family has been tied down maritally fire is coming upon those spirits right now right now right now in the name of jesus be free be free be free completely free be completely free be completely free the lord is showing me something i'm looking at this woman and i am seeing your children i know she may not i i, I don't know if she understands him or not but i'm looking at her and the lord is saying i should wait with her when it's time to go in i should carry her and meet her two children inside that's what god is telling me that i should carry her someone ask her ah evelyn 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 and who okay they are inside evelyn and mercy hold on because i looked at this woman and the lord is saying he wants to visit the woman and then the lord told me that two of her children are inside that when i'm going in i should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family i use this woman as a point of contact you keep hearing me pray and repeating myself is because there are spirits that don't want to let people go they must go tonight Amen. gentlemen look at me look at me tap guy it's your season of breakthrough i know that you hear a word like this and think i'm joking until you hear the testimony it's your season of breakthrough Amen. in the name of jesus christ mommy let me talk to you please come the lord is saying i should tell you you hear how sama you can speak english no, no, I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes, that he's going to wipe you in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't don't sit down you are doubting is it really god no 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 mama for your children where are they come did you tell me because uh -uh. mama let me talk to you i'm prophesying i need to pray for this person because i am seeing god doing a miracle for him this gentleman huh where is he abuja. he's in abuja yes. what's he doing He's working for somebody and they are not even... Paid. Mama, let me talk to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You see this person? Go and tell him by November a job is coming for him. I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is alright. But if I don't pray for you, will come you will be really frustrated there's a photographer here that things are not working for where are you god wants to change your story i don't know if you're a photographer or something please you see i told us let's cooperate i want us to finish very fast there is a photographer here i'm not guessing you are here things are grounded who are you make sure you are not lying not country you photographer business huh somewhere at north gate at north gate and nothing is happening do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot. And the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see. Uh, well, I'm not. I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people. But that lady you see. It's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you. From that day, things will dry up. You have. It's, it's not like you are careless. But... If it takes a person to speak a word of a curse, it takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now. In the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, you can be suffering for decades, but when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. 
please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this mama again. We've prayed for mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now. I will pray for her, but. No, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that. You came from. I know, Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joss, sir. Are you a family? You two, you came. That is, sir. You came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss. University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from my was lecturer. Changed to the university. The system is different from me. I'm... I'm I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. Don't waste your time, sir. Ah, I'm seeing you writing like, I don't know if it's a, this is like, um, uh, like a publication. This is what I'm seeing. This is a publication and a prof, a prof is going to help you and God is going to honor you with that publication. You no, know, there are many publications to write. But you will return back. This will happen like a dream. The way God is going to wipe your tears. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. Yes, I have an issue. I'm sick. Diagnosed with leukemia. Leukemia. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood. And God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is still alive. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir. Just this prophetic word for you, that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season. In the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. Augusta, come. Let me for you. This in you. Come. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can he hear me? Who brought this guy? Can I, Gina? Can you hear me? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. And I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lay my hands on this gentleman. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. I, I, is it your sister? Why are you here? You came from Joss too. Where in Joss? To the water. Shh. 
shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Where is the mama that was here? Uh-uh. There was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come, let's walk there. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The Father is inside. We are going to pray for the seed now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Mama, where are your children? Where are the children of this woman? The Lord gave me a word for them. You should have been ready now. Are they here? Please, so that we move to the next scene. I want us to finish here on time. I want us to finish here on time. Are they here? Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing, I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him, now! Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? Sir, I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am, I'm barrenness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, how many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born, yes, you are sir. married. Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Twenty-five years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me. I say it. I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names. I place a demand on my office, not my faith. My office, not my faith. My office, not my faith. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Anyone under any cause, whoever placed that cause must die. I say it again. Whoever placed any cause, whoever placed any cause, I command the ground to open and swallow that person. I say it again. Whoever plays any cause against anyone, shake it, 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 erect it, 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 baroko to basete, e bota sata, barete it, 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 leke it, 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 reko to shabariata. Whoever plays any cause on anyone, 
May the earth open and swallow that blessing. Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what, this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. If you believe I am sent from God, in the name that is above all names, carry your child. Ah! Carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Go and return with a testimony. Mama, hold my hands. I take away sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for two of you. Hold your hands. Please lift it. Let's hurry up. As I lay my hands on both of you, the grace for supernatural favor, I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to hurry up. Please bring out your prayer request. Pass them to the ushers. While you are doing that, all those who are trusting God for healing. Now is your time. Please come out quickly. I want us to be very, very fast. Don't injure the ones who are already here. It's going to be very, very fast. Now all those outside, listen. Those in the second and third overflow. Bring that girl. Those in the second and the third overflow, that means the overflow by the roadside, they can come in. But those in this first overflow, please stand outside. Those in this first overflow, you can go outside so that we'll save time. So that we'll save time. Let me pray for these people. Promise, come. Uh, Benga, come. Kenny, come. Um, Michael, come. Where's Pastor Femi? Come. I'll lay hands on you people. You go and lay hands on those outside please make sure that the people are healed we are not playing games this is not just formality please come out bring the lady out release her now in the name of jesus i command you spirit it's time for you to go right now in the name of jesus amen let me pray for these gentlemen when i pray for them they are going to go outside don't look at them. Look at the anointing that is upon them. In the name of Jesus, that grace, the anointing, that grace, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing. Please, you go. Just pray for the people outside. And Jimmy, please come. You join me. We'll pray for those here. Now, listen. We are going to be very fast. Please, if we don't ask you what is wrong with you, you don't have to say it. Now, let me do something. Please, if you are elderly here, make your way to the front. Please, if you're elderly, make your way to the front. Our mothers, our fathers, so that I can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back. Please, I, please some of you that are coming are not elderly. Please go back. If you are elderly, elderly is very clear. If you are elderly, we know. Elderly means you have a grown-up child. Please, please, let's save ourselves any embarrassment. Hallelujah. Worship team, you will lead us through a series of powerful worship. Now, if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request, please let them do it very fast because I want us to pray here now. Make sure you drop your request. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Father, I pray for these ones. As I pray for you, I don't know what the situation is, but I'm placing a demand by the God of heaven inside and outside that there will be miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Heal the sick, O oh God, and let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. You're the God of wonders. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. As I pray for you, go back to your seat. You're the God of wonders. Amazing God. Be free now. You're the God of miracles. I release your destiny. I release. Amazing God say You're the God of wonder Amazing God You're the God of me
miracle amazing god you're the god of wonder amazing god you're the god of miracle amazing you're the god say god a god of wonder as they pray for you just go back and check yourself we don't have time for testimonies you're the god of miracles amazing you are god you're the god of wonder amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing you are god you're the god of wonder amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing you are god say god of
Jesus. I say you 
your name is Yah. Hey, your name is Yahweh. Hey, your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yah. I say your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yah. I say your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. The miracle of God, your name is Yahweh. I say, your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. The miracle of God, your name is Yahweh. I say, your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle of God, your name is Yahweh. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you are the God of miracles. Amazing God, you are the God of wonder. Amazing God, amazing, 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 amazing. You are the God. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become let her go free in the name of Jesus must become my testimony no matter how many I believe that God is able to turn them into testimonies. Now listen, I want you to stretch your hands here. Don't ask God, don't pray. Stretch your hands, mention your request, mention his testimony equivalent. Are you getting the point now? There is barrenness here. I receive my baby. Please, you've heard the testimonies of people. Let me tell you, this is a covenant you see happen. It's not just that we do it. It's something that God said. Are you getting what I'm saying now?
please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were and watch the god of wonders go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you go ahead and pray those online make sure that you follow us we're praying on the request now i don't care what your challenge is i don't care from which part of the world you're streaming and following i want you to know that the god of all flesh we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place and we're praying on your request father give your people testimonies Give them turn around miracles. Release jobs, oh God. Release marriages, release children. Release ministries, release anointings and mantles and graces. Release revelation from the throne. Release prayer unction. Break habits, break things. That tie down the destinies of your people. The power that was Stretch your hands. It's an act of faith. Sheba Kapara Doko Dobra Dada. Reke Teke 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 let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles for your people. To you. We spray these things before you. We spread them before you. Look upon them, O oh God, with your grace and your mercy. Let them stand for our miracles. Supernatural miracles. Release our faith in your power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree done in the name of Jesus. Are not angels, ministry, spirits sent forth to minister to the ears of salvation? We receive the ministration of these results and answers in the name of Jesus. It is done, Lord, exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. In the name of Jesus, we rejoice with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we decree. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Lift your hands, everyone. Hallelujah. Jesus, we believe in you. We believe in the word of prophecy. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. You've heard me say it again. This for me is the most powerful part of the service. I know it doesn't look like it. But this is where everybody gets to receive. So I want you, we're rounding up to shout a believing amen as I pray. Are you ready now? The kind of favor you have not seen, I pray for you. You receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that will bring tears from your eyes. In the name of Jesus, may it be your portion. May it be your portion in October. Strange favor. Hallelujah. Help them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help them. I don't know what the devil has taken from you. The Bible says if a thief be caught, he will pay tenfold. I command between now and miracle service october receive supernatural restoration receive supernatural restoration supernatural restoration supernatural restoration everything that comes close to you but your hand cannot touch it you see it you know it should be yours but your hand cannot touch it by faith 
I connect it to your hand. I connect it to your hand by faith. Every man that says over his dead body for you to succeed, may God answer their prayers. You have been moving around in one place. You try to move forward, but you cannot make progress. In October, I command your destiny. I command your spirit. Hear the word of the Lord. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has received an instruction to help you but has refused to obey, I put their spirits under pressure. I put their spirits under pressure. They must respond to the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and Darius could not sleep. He woke up the next day and says, Oh, Daniel. As your God delivered you I say it again I don't know who must show up for you and has deliberately refused to frustrate you tonight I put pressure upon their spirit everything that is alive grows therefore whatever has refused to grow in your life I command it to grow in October hallelujah october has the number 10 and 10 means the end of one circle and the beginning of another circle i don't know what it is that has refused to end and i don't know what has refused to begin i end what must end and i begin what must begin i say it again i end what must end and i begin what must begin believe it believe it believe it Help that lady, please. I, I say it again. I end what must end and I begin what must begin. Anyone under the sound of my voice call jobless. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next miracle service, I don't know how it will happen, but return with a miracle job. Return with a miracle job. My God gives you a job. Anybody due for promotion and has not been attended to, I don't care who needs to attend to you, it's a human being. In the name of Jesus, may the God of all flesh compel them to respond. Zion's king Kadosh Kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep cry out Kadosh you are mighty on your throne you reign you ancient Zion's king Kadosh Kadosh you are mighty on your own. Break forth, O oh Spirit of the deep. Cry out, God, oh, you are mighty on your own. Mighty on your throne. You are 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 mighty on your own. You 
and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. point number one. Oh God by the blood I cry for mercy where I have allowed the devourer. I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion. I have allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize and I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside lift your voice. Your tithe your tithe is your spiritual circumcision? Esho paraka te bitanda bakata, pato poto si bakata. And the kapaso to preke te, leke te 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 rebaska. Embreke si kapata la baba, bakata preke te, embreke te kita ya sha. La baba kata rebeke te kita pato, shakata ta ta ta. Why are you praying? Bereke te, die for mercy. Oto pata ya, die for mercy. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace. Oh. And make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow. Not by fear. Not by assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this if you take what I've shared tonight for many of you this is your secret is your password to a mysterious level of lifting a level of lifting that will surprise you 
as much as surprise those who are your spectators God's portion the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen I want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice cry is the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost 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 one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen I want you to pray listen there are giants on every mountain every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go but tonight i want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say i must go tonight lift your voice inside and outside cry I must walk away that carrying out disease must die today that cancer must die today that HIV must go today that barrenness must go today that stagnation must go today Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 o
Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person, are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are yet to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow, we just move and we don't stop. So you have one minute while you are praying in tongues. Just write your prayer request very quickly. So that when it's time to pass it, you just pass it very fast. Manta la dosa so predisci la coria da balarabas. Make sure you don't keep silent. Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. tonight and we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit. Lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to begin to minister to us and while I prayed for this in the course of the week, again and again, I kept seeing, please pay attention. Can I have strings, 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 strings? Hallelujah. I kept seeing again and again, spirits, watch this, spirits leeching onto people. This is what I kept seeing. Like a man sitting on a man's shoulder. I saw this over many people. And I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord began to, re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families. And the Lord said, when I come up, he said, the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers. Dislodge those powers. I saw them like a man, like a child who sit down on the shoulder of another, bringing a resistance to your destiny. And I'm about to pray for you right now. There are so many people under the sound of my voice. So many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone. Um, uh, 
suffering from severe migraine but then that migraine you think is just sickness we are about to make a shout brothers and sisters this shout is like the sling of david it looks ordinary but there is a circumcision upon it it's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm it's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men it's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic it's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now there will be mighty deliverances mighty deliverances hallelujah i'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name jesus my goodness i sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of god will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of god especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you jesus father in the name of your son i pray right now and i sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost that the fire of the spirit oh restrain not your hand oh mighty one we pray that you arise as a man of war there are destinies at the mercy of your touch i pray that by this shout oh god there be a visitation that by this shout oh god everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and i command every power that at this shout you will let god's people go inside and outside one two three shout that name i command witchcraft powers of darkness right now right now in the name of jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of god is falling on people falling on people i cause witchcraft i cause witchcraft i cause witchcraft in the name of jesus lift your hands malatata i'm seeing altars on fire that's what i see in the spirit please bring them out altars on fire one more time we are going to shout physically many of you will feel the fire physically physically right now in the name of jesus one two three jesus! oh yes that's fire that's fire that's fire of the holy ghost begin to speak the holy ghost will locate them i'm seeing ladies ladies a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire oh god locates them right now right now right now i cause that spirit i cause that spirit ladies ladies a miracle is happening to sisters I cost us spirit. I cost us spirit. I cost us spirit. 
I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating Inside and outside, we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of Jesus. Families, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Father, any family under the yoke of bondage, as they shout this name, let there be a visitation. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands 
I'm hearing marital spells. Marital spells. Please lift your hands. Listen. Hear me. Something mighty is about to happen here. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married. Right now lift your hands. As I begin to speak the wind, I see like a wind, a whirlwind moving across this auditorium. Oh. It will catch up with some people right now. Where are they, oh God? Visit them right now. In the name of Jesus. One more time, we will shout that name. Wherever they are. One, two, three. Jesus! Spells! Spells! hearing a name Dorcas Dorcas a miracle is coming Dorcas an altar is on fire and I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle Dorcas Dorcas come and stand here hallelujah Who is Israel? I'm hearing a name Israel. Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, he must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the Spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas, where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying, She's where is she? Mina, Niger State. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands. Father, change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord sets you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, it's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. Sir. This Amen, meeting. sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are Dorcas. 
Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you, yourself, otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship. But hold my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring rest to this lady. Bring rest to her in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman that had a miscarriage? There is a woman that had a miscarriage. And the Lord is asking me to minister to her. We may not be able to minister to everybody, but there is, there is someone. Please make sure you don't sit back. The Lord is ministering to me about that person. So that we'll just, we'll just pray for her. Dogara. Dogara. I'm hearing a name, Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You? Your name is Dogara? Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home in Kaduna. He's, he's at home. In Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never. If they are permitting anything, please and please maybe carry them out. Of We're about to pray, please. Don't worry. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. We cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come, there's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family. Because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. It's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage. Yes, sir. Because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand and pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You are all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just do what I do. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of god is against you in the name of jesus christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of jesus christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of jesus christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ, may they experience your touch. In the name of 
of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want, to, I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice, I represent the most high. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now, one, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out of their lives. Out now. Never to return. At your Lord, live their lives, live their destinies. Restoration of virtue, of grace. I cause that spirit from its foundation. I cause it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You. This lady looking at me. You. Come. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah, come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? You believe me? You will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify in the name of Jesus Christ I pray the Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach madam the reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you the reproach of many years is being rolled away I'm seeing like a baller that's what I'm seeing a trash place where they pour dirt and I'm seeing a new seed shooting out and that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the lord is saying i should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady I curse you now I curse you I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ let me tell you something listen listen people of God don't think we're playing games here I know you may see some of the things happening these are the powers that have tied down men's life it's not solved by counseling you are just moving in the physical yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound we are not embarrassed we are never embarrassed to set people free because that's what Jesus said there's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Oh. 
father jobs now in the name that is above all names i want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life lord i declare everyone called jobless here by the favor of god i terminate joblessness right now by the favor of god i terminate joblessness right now anyone who has applied for any job i compel them to call you i compel them to call your loved ones i compel them to favor you here called Agnes Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes the Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly Agnes I'm hearing the name Agnes God is ministering to me he wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes do we have anyone there Agnes your name is Agnes your name too your family member okay I'm going to pray for you we'll begin to pray for the sick after this father in the name of Jesus bring breakthrough for this family you showed me that you're visiting this family go ahead and confirm your word with signs following in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg mysteriously paining you and it looks it's, it's like swollen. This is what I see in the vision that the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Your leg is swollen. of the legs look what look if if the devil you remember i told you this a body without the spirit look what is happening to this girl and then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife are you seeing that is is if it can look at one two three four five people holding one person Imagine what it will do to someone's destiny. I say this without a sense of cynicism. Many of the people that God is setting free attend churches every week. Look, we need to restore the power of God in our churches and stop playing games with God. Because God's idea is not just for one platform hallelujah swollen legs no 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 don't, you don't you don't have to madam i see you too your legs for how long what's the situation with her is her leg swollen okay hold on she can't walk baby how are you Hallelujah. Please help us with the mic. Who brought her? Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. What's your name? Annie. Annie? Your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick and we let them come out. I'm just going to switch to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you, who had a dream? In a dream, it's like something was shot. It's like, I don't know if it was an arrow. I'm seeing something that looks like a dream. 
and something was shot on your legs. If the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. It's like, I don't know if it was like a gun or something. Or, an, or a, 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 a sharp object. I know that it was, it's like it was shot to your leg. Something beats me when I was sleeping. I just woke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I, I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the spirit. My dream. You were shot. Fired at you. Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You the prayed dream. when you woke up. From the, the Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is showing Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in this thing. It's a, for me to stand or to walk, almost two years. It's broken for Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand. You can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's the same. It's you believe? Coach. It's coach. Huh? Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it entered his thigh and came and out came through out. the other thigh. This is thigh. the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to the present. This guy Where is, is he? Here. Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos? Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate? Yes, sir. From Benway State. Hold yes, my hand. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cast this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have nail pains. Since Knee. I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since since I was sick for six months, but well, he used to swell up. But now I can't walk. I can walk and be feeling sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay. How about you? My leg is swollen for five years. Five years. I cannot stand. Anymore. Where is? Which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time, Mama. How about you? I'm not two months now. I started to feel this leg. Two two months. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis? Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yes. swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now. Every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Lay your hands on your chest. The Lord is bringing you deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. This is witchcraft. For five years, I'm seeing a spirit. Go! Go! In the name of Jesus. You can't remain in her. The swollen legs, I command the swelling to go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I curse the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Look how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities we are going to do this very very fast all of you who are sitting make sure you are connected and um, you are participating while we are ministering to the sick I want you to pass your prayer request ushers you can walk around please make sure all those outside even those on the roadside make sure that we receive their prayer request because I will be laying hands on it immediately afterwards myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you're standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and save. The Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. matter what is wrong with you just a laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities Christ. Holy, holy, 
holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy, holy. of this brother the legs look at me leave him move your hand look at me have you tried walking before huh? lift your leg try lifting lift it lift the other one lift it lift it You are mighty Look at me. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. Come. Come, come on, you celebrate Jesus. On your throne. Completely the legs are open. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus, my heart will sing. Yeah. Heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Please 
Please close outside. Can we have it quickly? No other name. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Shibarato soto Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Now God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Shaka parata katabaladaba. Lord, we are praying. Please make sure you are praying outside. Stretch your hands towards the screen. Say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. Lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it return. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies we are bound in great ways, Lord. Unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, 
people that are insane you cause them to be sane in the name of jesus we pray for contract that long delayed lord we pray that lord will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of jesus and we pray for a shield of protection over your saints lord in the name of jesus we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit let the fire of god call come on cold altars in the name of jesus let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of jesus we give you praise we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us lord we give you praise blessed father for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit we thank you in the name of jesus we pray hallelujah hallelujah if you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony i'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah shout a loud hallelujah a loud hallelujah a loud hallelujah 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 for many of you it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it's by the anointing it's not by English burdens are destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah this last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit you may not understand what I'm saying please help them this is the most powerful of this segment right now before we go into this where I begin to prophesy there are two dimensions to prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy that dimension of prophecy gives you direction but the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension that's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word never joke with the power of prophecy that's the power that created the heavens and the earth he said i prophesied as i was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of god i want to commit my life to the lord i've seen the miracles i've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a christian name is not the same as having a relationship with jesus there are some you've given your heart to the lord at one time please help the, those under the anointing i tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now i sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why i'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying i want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of god and you are saying lord i have heard your word and i'm not ashamed to make jesus my lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now i'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. hallelujah hallelujah keep coming god bless you you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory sing hallelujah hallelujah Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. Sasa di buchi. Sasa di buchi. Sasa di buchi. We need to pray. Sasa di one more time. Sasa ni buchi. 
out there when you hear the voice of the Lord. Songs are need with I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says, this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. But he said, this life is in his son. Until you have the son, you do not have that life. Lift your right hand. Forget about who is looking at you. And in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. You are not reciting a poem. It's not a special number. This is a decision. There's one of you here. You smoke all these kinds of things. It go and the rest. Huh? But as you pray this prayer, the power is broken over your life. Say after me, as loud as you can from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night I make Jesus Lord of my life I repent of my sins I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of Jesus I receive of your life in Jesus name I pray now I stretch my hands over you and I declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of Jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of Jesus I declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life I release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of Jesus it is wiped away I set you free I break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah I want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session I want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the Lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentleman now everybody rise please I want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the Bible says revive thy walk in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where God perfects all things as I prophesy to you please I want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer Satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is, is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time I know you are trying as ushers just stand around Satan does not have authority I want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but Satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore Satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the Lord lift your hands I prophesied as I was commanded you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne 
you are Yahweh seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne father in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation i pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah i prophesy to you that red sea you are standing before by the anointing of the holy ghost in this second half of the year an anointing comes upon you and i prophesy cross every red sea cross every red sea cross every red sea in the name of jesus christ i pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding i'm praying for you some of you listen as i pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head it's an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now take it now that anointing receive it for exploits shaka ta 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 inside and outside take it for exploits 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 hallelujah everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor favor favor
everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness Shababa. things happen around you you cannot see blood of spiritual vision i pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as i'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the holy ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now be free from it right now be free from it right now hallelujah there are many of us here dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction but for many of us our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there the bible says they will dream dreams it says they will see visions Shakataba, lift your hands there will be an, a restoration anointing right now i just want you to shout i receive listen many things will happen to you many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where god will start showing you the blueprint for the next level right now in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout i receive let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams hallelujah it says what do you have in your house and she said nothing except a jar of oil i want to prophesy upon your gift it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed there are many of you the gift you have can bring bread to your table but nobody is seeing it it's one thing to be gifted it's one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now Eriakata, creativity, creativity. I release it. I release that anointing. Creativity, skill, expertise, competence, proficiency. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's god's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light i pray for you 
whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you hallelujah everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year you have tried by your strength i'm releasing grace upon your life right now go back to that same thing and watch how god will bless you through it i pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of jesus christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here i strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine, arise and shine. lift your hands one last prayer listen I want to activate the gift of the spirit without the gift of the spirit upon your life your life will be barren and unfruitful it says for I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as i speak father i come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and bread in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gift one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 i activate the prophetic i open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit i declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow i prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls I mean connections mysterious happenings I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you. I 
command the wind to walk for you I command the stars to walk for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony hallelujah if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers but we give you an identity you will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the christ make your way to the front koinonia celebrate them glorious glorious god brought them by his spirit is this the best you can do in appreciation to what the mighty god has done for us as dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye